I've got the sprocket carrier set back up on the uh, the milling table. I'm just going to mill out some clearance around these uh, threaded bosses. Because I've had to remove about half the width, well what have I removed, 17 millimeters from the front of them. Although they're still tapped sort of a diameter of the bolt, I want to put some uh, some lock nuts on the inside there just to make sure. So I just have to uh, relieve that away and then nick a little tiny bit out of the cush drive rubbers. There's six bolts all together for the sprocket carrier. The ones here over there are fine. It's just these ones this side and the opposite side. So I'll just do this manually very quickly. Nothing, uh, nothing too complicated on this one. Take it down a little bit more. Just to allow me to spot face the area slightly. I would have liked to have put this so that it was it was horizontal or, or sorry in line with the table or at 90 to the table slots but I can't hold it very easily um, actually I suppose I could hold it on there yeah I'm just going to reset up and do it slightly differently okay that's better I can uh, run the table in line with the uh, the side of the, the the tongue there on the on the cush drive uh, the cush drive paddles whatever you want to call them that's a lot better right we'll start again
Right, I realise that's left a, a square shoulder, but um, it should be fine. What I've got to do is make sure I've got enough room for the, the bolt to actually turn. And now I'll just go a little bit more across it and then we'll repeat the same on, uh, on this side. Confident I'll get that. Okay, I'll reset up for the uh, for the other one and do the same procedure on the uh, on the other four. get an airline set up in here one day. So that'll do. Okay, get this out, get the sprocket assembled onto it. get the uh, the sprocket assembled it may need to be adjusted again when it's in place so uh, I've got to roughly assemble it and then um, it can be adjusted later we've got uh, some nuts on the back of there just in case it's uh, it's not enough for, for the shallower thread on that side right, I'm gonna get this bearing pressed into this uh, into this side now
there we have it so far the bearings in that side and the bearing in the sprocket carrier now I've got a, a gap get that in the picture I've got a space between the outer face of there and the inner face of that bearing and I need to make a, a spacer up for um, to get us flush with this and then I want to retry the wheel again there's wheel spacers to make as well so um, I'll measure up one we know that's 28 and it's going to be a 22 mil bore so I'll measure this uh, this distance here and uh, find a piece of material and get set up for uh, for machining that. And we'll get the uh, the depth gauge in there. Twenty three point two four brings. Get the depth gauge in there. 23.24 brings us out to uh, the outside edge of this casting. The bearing is just ever so slightly recessed back from there. I would have liked to have put a seal in there as well, but there wasn't enough material really for um, for resting the bearing onto on the, on the back of there. So uh, it should be okay without a seal for what use uh, for the use this is going to get um, 23.24 right that's a bit longer than that 23.24 here yeah. 23.24 long um, providing it sticks through the bearing a little bit it'll be okay at that um, so I'll uh, I'll find some material I've got a piece of material in the, the lathe now. Um, I'm going to turn the, red, the smaller part off, the 20 mil, 28 mil diameter part. Um, Put 33 there. And get that down to size first.
just need to go slightly slightly deeper along fit wise that's okay just slides on a bit too tight Just ever so slightly proud of the bearing there. Put a little chamfer on that. And we'll bore. Drill down now.
I'll swap to uh, the 22 mil drill now. I haven't got a, a drill bit the right size, so I uh, have to set about boring this to size. Bang on 21 mil. Another half mil. This should be the final uh, pass. Is that the 22 mil ball? That should fit now. Yeah, that's just up to the uh, up to the internal shoulder there. So I'll get this out and um, cut it off and face the other side up. We've got half a millimetre to come off this side.
scrape the edge. There we are, there's our, uh, there's our spacer, step spacer for inside the sprocket carrier. Close view of that. And that's just a, a sliding, sliding fit into there. That's on there, and then when the wheel space is on the outside there, and the wheel spindles in, that'll just clamp that bearing on the inside race, and uh, everything will be supported properly. And our wheel spindle should go in. That's uh, that job done. Um, I've got them gold star crank cases to uh, to carry on with next, um, so I'll set up with them and do a little bit more video on them. So uh, see you in the uh, in the next episode of uh, the gold star crank case saga. Bye for now.